All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Bellator MMA fighter, Mr. Carl Brexton. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm fine as well. Thanks for asking. Listen, it has been a while since uh, I've uh, spoken uh, with you, uh, but you had much more hair the last time we spoke. What's happened to your nice hair, to be honest? You know, after my loss here to Carl Moore, I got depressed and sad. Mm -hmm. So I shaved off all the hair and I kept it shaved for a while. But now I'm, you know, in the process of letting it grow back. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, it, I was actually going to ask you about it. Listen, uh, you started that fight, uh, you know, pretty well in the first round. You then, uh, were, you were submitted in the second frame. May I ask you what went wrong? Uh, for me, it was um, like wrong mental state. Uh, I would feel like I was not there. I was not myself. Uh, you know, sometimes in life, everything decides to happen at once. So, you know, I was very stressed at home. I had a lot of stress with me and uh, it showed in the fight. I just, I don't know what happened. I was not myself. So after the fight, I contacted a mental coach. And, uh, you know, it was like going to a psychiatrist. But, uh, you know, it feels better. Worked every day at it since. And I feel like my quality of life has improved, not only in performance-wise, but I feel happier outside. Was there uh, something going on in your life at the time of that fight? Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's, it's not excuses for my performance. Like Carl Moore was better than me that day, and I don't want to sit there. And he was he was better than me at that day. I don't want to sit there and make excuses. No, for sure, for sure, I I understand that. Um, and you told me that you 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 were depressed after that loss. Yeah, you know, I feel like I was embarrassed. I was shamed. Uh, like. You know, you, and then you check your phone afterwards, you get a thousand, 100 messages that you're a clown and a faggot. It doesn't help. Ooh. So I was already beating myself up and then it was like uh, everything. That's why I talked to my mental coach. It was like therapy for me. It, I, it turned my life upside down. Again, I'm sorry to hear that. And MMA fans should really put uh, things into perspective uh, sometimes. Uh, yeah. Were there the, the the you know the the words were coming from uh, fans in, from Carl Moore fans or from your fans no, or in general? No, just in general. But you know, it's is uh, well, it happens with every fight. But you know that I lost and I felt embarrassed. It took extra hard. I understand. Well. I'm glad that you're telling me right now that you're feeling a little bit better, that uh, uh, right now you're preparing for your upcoming fight, uh, which is on February the 4th, as you take on uh, Grant uh, Neal. Um, have you changed anything at all in your training routine? Uh, I'm doing more mental training now, obviously. And, uh, well, I was recently in Norway sparring with... Uh, my friend uh, Martin Hamlet, who fights for PFL, who is a very accomplished wrestler and one of the strongest men I ever encountered. Yeah, he's ridic he's uh, ridiculously strong. Yeah, but, I know him. Yeah. I, I know him. I interviewed him uh, last year. Yeah, he, he looks yeah. pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. So I've been also sparring with more boxers this time. So I not big changes. I changed it up a little bit. What kind of fight uh, are you expecting from your opponent? Well, he's a very good wrestler. He's a very good athlete. Uh, he works a lot with his jab. He seems to evolve with every fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to take me down. He's probably going to jab and circle a bit before. And then he's looking to close the distance and try to get me on my back. But when he will try to do that... He will find out. You know, you know. I will. My plan is to hit him with my jab and take his slowly but surely try to pick him apart. And I'm pretty confident that I I can also take him down. So, you know, it's gonna be a dog fight. Thanks. What I think. Did you get to enjoy a little bit holiday season? No. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to fight uh, pretty soon again after the loss. So it was like I started training pretty early. So no, uh, a little bit, you know, f- fam- family time is what's important, like food and drinks and that's secondary that's not important for me I, sp- I did spend time with the family but i also did a lot of good training also yeah that's uh that sounds fair enough um and um in general how how do you expect you know you told me that you expect a dog fight but do you expect do you see yourself finishing your opponent inside the distance yes 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 uh i want to perform at the best of my abilities and uh i know if I perform at my best, I will finish Grant Neal. And I will put on a hell of a show. You sound like you have some inner fire in yourself and that's yeah. good to hear for for that fight. Um, the card on which you're fighting, you're competing is headlined by the clash between Ryan Bader and Fedor Emelianenko. Uh, I would like to hear your pick for that fight. Oh, it's Fedor's last fight. Uh... I know uh, Ryan is going to be hard to feather to beat. Uh, Ryan's going to be able to absorb more punishment, I think, than Fedor. But, you know, Fedor, he's got that, still got that power. It's probably a little bit, you know, he got, he got that relaxed style, you know, with the hooks. But I, I think Bader is just going to beat, you know, a little bit younger. You know, I, I believe Ryan Bader will actually get this fight too. And what are your plans for 2023? In addition to this fight, what are you planning to, to do in general or to accomplish this year? Uh, I want to definitely be in title contention in the end of the year by getting three, four wins under my belt here. Definitely by starting to beat Grant Neal and then climbing my way up the rankings and eventually fighting for the title next year. Sounds fair enough. Um, Carl, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages? Um, I want to thank my longtime coach, Omar Buish, and uh, I would also like to thank my mental coach, Igor Adores, for putting up with my bullshit. Huh. No, I mean, uh, from my behalf, you don't have to, to call it bullshit, but still, uh, you know, it's, no. it's, it's your <laughs> things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, Carl, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with the upcoming fight, and hopefully, I will thank hear you. again from you in the future, man. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Have a Best nice weekend. Luck. You too. Bye bye.